In this video, we're going to make a modern desk, and our final product will look something like this. Okay, so in a new drawing, I'm going to start in the top view in 2D wireframe with ortho, object snap, and object snap tracking on. I'll start out with a polyline and I'm going to start that polyline at 0, 0, 0 just to make sure I'm starting at the origin point. I'm going to come out 60 inches of 28 back over 60 and use C for close. So this is going to be the top of the desk. I'm then just going to move this over away from that origin point um, so I'm not drawing right on top of it. Then I'll use offset at a distance of one inch and just offset this rectangle inside um, to create the base of the top. Then I'll grab another polyline here and in this corner I'm going to draw a one by one inch square. I'm then going to move that square down one and over to the right one inch to get it kind of centered in that corner. Then I'm going to go up to the View tab and under Viewport Configuration I'm going to pick two vertical so I can have two windows side by side. Right now I'll keep my left view as the top and my right view over here I'm going to change to Southwest Isometric. While I'm in this view, I am going to extrude this one inch by one inch uh, square up 27 inches. Once I get that, I'm going to change my UCS to face and I'm going to click on the front of this tall rectangle. Then I will grab a circle and starting at this midpoint I'm going to draw a circle with a 0.25 radius. I'm just going to move it down one inch and I'm going to extrude it back negative one inch so it's going through my tall rectangle. Above it looks like that. So here is the cylinder I just created. Then we can use Array, select that cylinder, Enter. We're going to use um, a rectangular array with one column and 24 rows Maybe something like that. Let's see, I think I'll change the total to 24 to get those to spread out a little bit. There, that looks a little better. Close the array. Then I will move all of these down from this point right here to this point so that they're all inside of this leg, something, something like that. Then we can use subtract, select the rectangle, that's the object we want to keep, and then select all of these cylinders. Oh, I think we need to actually explode that array first. Do X for explode. I'll select those cylinders and enter, and now they're individual solids. All right, let's try that subtract again. Now I have to pick them all individually. There we go. 
and now we have a subtraction. It doesn't look like much right now, but if I would change that to a conceptual view, you can see we've actually cut those circles into it. Okay, change it back to 2D wireframe. And I want to copy these legs around the base of the desk a little bit. So I am going to use mirror, select that leg, enter, change my UCS back to world. There we go. And I'll mirror one across this way. And then I'll use mirror again and grab these two legs and mirror them this way. So they have them in the same location in each corner. In the top view it looks like that. Then I am going to use my copy command, copy these two legs, grab their base point and copy them 13 inches to the left. Okay. Now I am going to move these two rectangles straight up 28 inches. I am going to extrude the inside one down negative one inch and I'll extrude the top one up maybe a half an inch. Alright, so we have the tabletop and base and then the six legs for the desk. Okay, so we can create the rectangle for the drawer at this point. We can use a polyline and we'll just draw it along the ground. I'll use my legs as a guide, staying on the inside, see for clothes. Then I'll make a copy of this rectangle and put it on the outside. I'll extrude this rectangle up 8 inches and then I'll move it up 4. I'll extrude this extra rectangle just 0.25 and then I'm going to move it over from this point right here and then I'll copy that from this point down here right up top. Okay. Now I'd like to make a handle to go in the front of this drawer. So off to the side I'll use a polyline and do one inch, two inch and back another one to create a shape like this. You can see it in the top view as well. Then I'll use fillet with a radius of 0.25 with the polyline setting. I'll select that line and it gave it a nice curve. Then I can grab a circle, give it a radius of perhaps 0.1 and then we'll do a sweep selecting the circle, enter, and then the polyline. Alright, so we create a solid there. Now I can move that handle, grabbing it at this quadrant point, and I'll snap it right here to the center. Then I will move it over one inch, and then I'll move it down four inches. So once again from above, we have the handle on our drawer. Okay, now we just need to create a few of the metal bars that crisscross. So I'll change my top view to a front view. Okay, so we can see our desk from the front. And then off to the side, I'm going to create a couple of lines. I'll do a vertical line at 12 inches, then over 3 feet 5 inches, back up 12, and then I'm going to create an X in between. Once you've created that X, we can actually get rid of these original guidelines. Then I'll create a few circles. A circle here with 0.1 radius and the same thing below. 
we can then use sweep again to create our solids. Now at this point we have two solids that are intersecting here, which isn't ideal, so you might want to actually separate them or something like that, but for now we're just going to leave them there. Okay, so back in our isometric view, I'm going to grab move, select these two lines, and then I'll grab it at its lower quadrant point here, and I'll snap it right to the center of that leg. Then I can do move again, grab those bars, and I'll move them straight up four inches. All right, so that's what it looks like from the front elevation. I'm going to change my view to a left view line, and I'll do another series of bars. So I'll do a vertical line at 12 inches, off to the right at one foot, 10 inches, straight up 12, and then I'll do my diagonal lines in between again. Erase out those extras. Do two small circles with the point one radius. And of course a sweep. Okay. Then back in my southwest isometric view. I can move in these bars, grab this lower quadrant point here, snap it into place, and then I'll move it up four inches. Then I'm going to copy these bars. Put them right there, and right there, and then we can move them up again, but this time we'll move them up 13 inches to get them into place. can change this to a front view just so we can see how our desk is looking. And then finally, if we'd like to put the panel on the side of the desk, we could use a polyline. Go from here to here on the ends of the feet. Come out maybe 0.25. Come straight back. You can line that up. And do C for close. We can then extrude this up maybe eight inches and then we can move this panel from this point straight up. Okay. If we want to look at this in perhaps a conceptual or maybe even x-ray view, we can see our desk is looking complete. All right, so here it is in the one tone. And then here is the previous version we looked at at the beginning of the video.